When we were at the conference, we had the opportunity to have Dr. Walt Larimore with us, and he shared some exciting and important truths that will help us with our health. And so in this devotional period, he's going to share some things more in depth with us about our health. Uh, Walt, thank you so much Good to be for back with you, sharing uh, with us at this time. Let's talk about something we didn't talk about last time. That was obesity. And uh, obesity has become an epidemic in America. Uh, talk to me about that. What's, how severe is the problem and, and what can we do about it? It's the most severe it's ever been. And as a result, life expectancy of adults is shortened and our children may be the first generation in American history whose life expectancy oh. is shorter than their parents. We're seeing diseases in the office now in kids we used to only see in adults, heart attack, high blood pressure, hmm. diabetes in children, and the emotional effects it has on them. Kids who are obese are more likely to be depressed, anxious, bullied, or bullied. It's a huge problem. Well, with obesity, is there, is there something that we can do? I mean, for me, I, you know, and I have to admit that uh, I was obese. Now, if you would have asked me, I would say, no, I'm a little overweight, but technically and scientifically, I was obese. So how does a person know if, if they have an obesity problem? I mean, I, I didn't want to admit that. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you know that and what do you do about it? You've got to find out the information. And for children, it's a, a measurement called body mass index percentile. For adults 18 and older, it's body mass index. It's a calculator, it's a computer-based calculation. You put in your gender, your height, and your weight, and it'll tell you. If you're normal weight, overweight, extremely overweight, obese, or morbidly obese, once you have that information, you can then act on it. What do you do? I, I know for me, my doctor said, what made the change in you, Sammy? And you know, when I was diagnosed with cancer, you know, I, I had to come to grips with my body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, and I've not treated it the way God wanted me to treat it. And I made a heart decision, but for the average guy out there, how does, what does he do to make the kind of changes that he needs to make? I've done some research with Florida Hospital down in Orlando and we looked at different interventions. The one that appears to have the most effectiveness is when families make a decision to make healthy habits important. Healthy habits as far as exercise and movement, as far as their nutrition, as far as their sleep. When a family does this together, it can make a difference. In fact, we've developed an eight-week program that's available for free for families to use. And for any of our listeners who don't have a family, perhaps they're living alone or they're single, then you can do this with a small group or a Sunday school or an accountability group or folks at work. But doing stuff together can make a difference. Where do you find this eight-week program that you've developed? Well, we can make it available, Sammy, on your website, the eight-week program. In fact, we've got it in two phases. We've got the first eight weeks, which are the easier steps, and then a second or a level two program for a little bit more intense steps. But starting out with step one, looking at the options that are available, and with your family or accountability group, choosing those you want to do as a family. And when you taste that little bit of success, it builds the fruit for later steps. All right, so we'll take one step at a time in increments and uh, find victory there. And get started. Yep, and get started. Thank you so much. My pleasure.